Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at an application uh, from Adobe called Adobe Voice. And what Adobe Voice is, is it's an iPad application. I'm here on my iPad uh, 2 Air. Um, and it allows you to tell your story with images and your voice. And it does it in a very intuitive and cool way that's very easy to do. And you don't have to think about like telling or writing up a whole speech and saying it all together. You basically tell your story image by image. And then once you're done, you have a movie that you can post online, share with others. And some of the new features in this application are definitely worth taking a look at. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, so Adobe Voice free application, go ahead and download it from the App Store. And what I'm gonna do is just launch Adobe Voice. And of course, the first thing it welcomes me with is the exploration panel. And from here, I can explore other stories that have been told and I can tap on them, watch their stories and get some ideas. These are people that cre created their stories with Adobe Voice and chose, chose to share them publicly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say create a story and it says, well, what's your story about? And of course, I have one on here that's complete that I'll show at the very end and it's a story of how I got started in technology. People are always asking me that. And I, I, I was gonna recreate that from scratch and then I thought, well, why not do a different story to show how the application works and people kind of get a little taste of both. So this story is gonna be uh, how I, luckily we don't have to do a lot of typing in this app, <laughs> uh, got started with photography. There we go. How I got started with photography. So we'll do next. And now it's basically asking me to, if I want a guided theme uh, with suggestions on you know, how to tell your story, I can pick one of the ideas here. I can say, promote an idea. Maybe I'm pitching something to my boss or to a client. Tell what happened, tell a cool story. And that's probably the one I would use. Then you can use this one for like a family vacation, a trip you went on, um, just a cool thing you did at work, whatever it is explain something that happened. <laughs> that could be interesting. Follow a hero's journey, show and tell, share a growth moment, teach a lesson, and share an invitation. I like to do the make up your own because then I can customize it and do it from scratch. Since you guys are mostly designers that I'm talking to on this, uh, this show, you'll probably want to do the make your own. But if you're just stuck on, you know, you kind of want some guidance, pick one of the themes. So I'm going to say pick this one. And now it's asking me for, I can, I can get started or I can, I can go ahead and pick out the layout, the themes and the music. So let's go to themes and there are all kinds of cool themes here. Um, we're going to do how I uh, got started in photography. So I'll pick lights if I don't see anything I like better. And yeah, let's do lights. Since we are talking about photography and lighting is very important. Okay, so at this point, we've got our theme. We can also go in and pick music if we want. Uh, but let's do the, let's kind of uh, get started first with the layout. And then we'll, um, we'll go from there. So the first thing it's asking for is, well, what's your first picture going to be? Now, pictures, of course, we have them everywhere. Some are on your iPad. Some are on your computer. Some are in Creative Cloud. Some are in Lightroom. Some are in Dropbox, some are in Facebook. You can have your pictures in any of these places and grab them and put them in the app. So for example, let me tap the plus sign right here in the middle and it says, do I want an icon, a photo, or do I want to write some text? So I want to grab a photo and I actually, I know this particular photo is uh, on my iPad. So I'm just going to grab a photo of myself holding the camera. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll go over to the photos I have and here's one of me holding the camera so we'll go ahead and grab that one so now that one's just pulling it in directly from the iPad it's already there no big deal but if we go back go back again you see all the various places where you can grab from so on my iPad take a picture right now with the, with the iPad camera uh, grab it from Lightroom Mobile uh, grab it from my Creative Cloud folder grab it from Dropbox or Facebook well, we have the photo. Now we're going to go ahead and add our voice. 
Now, in this case, um, of course, you can use the built-in microphone that's already on your iPad. It'll be fine. However, if you do want a you know, better professional sound, it's always better to have a better mic. So I'm using the Mic 96 by Apogee. I have a link down below so you can go grab it. And this particular mic is kind of cool because it not only comes, of course, with a cable for your computer. I have another one here that I'm actually recording the podcast with, and that's plugged in via USB. But it comes with the other cable necessary, the lightning cable, to go directly from the mic into your iPad or your iPhone. So if you're doing interviews, you're out and about, or you're recording your story and you kind of want a better sound, you can do that uh, directly with the uh, Mic 96. Okay, or again, it will work with the built-in microphone. So now the big thing is hold, hold the record button while you narrate. So we're just narrating just the first picture. That's it, we don't have to tell the whole story at the same time. So here we go, I'm gonna hold it down. People are always asking me how I got started in photography. That was it. If you don't like it, you can hold down and re-record, but let's play it back. People are always asking me how I got started in photography. I'm gonna crank up the volume a little bit so I can hear it better in here. Let's play it one more time. People are always asking me how I got started in photography. That's it. First part of our story is already done. So now we're going to go ahead and add another card. And this time I want a photo because I want to reminisce back to uh, one of the first cameras I ever used, which was a Kodak kind of instant camera, or actually Kodak or Polaroid, I can't remember. I think it was Polaroid. Uh, one of those instant cameras that actually output the image right in front of you, <laughs> right onto the paper. So let's do a photo. Now I don't have a picture of one of those cameras. So one of the other things we can do is a search. We can find photos right here in Adobe Voice. And these will be royalty free photos that you can use. Old camera. All right, so we'll do a search for an old camera and a bunch of old cameras come up. And let's see if I can find this Polaroid. Um, I'm forgetting the name, the particular name of the model, but I'll know it when I see it and there it is. So I can tap and there's my uh, photo. Now, in this particular case, I'd love for that photo to fill the frame. So we'll go to layout and we'll go full screen photo. That's it. Just that easy to switch how you want things to appear. And in this case, now it's ready for me to tell the next part of the story. So let's go ahead and do that. I was always the kid at the family functions and events holding the family camera and taking the pictures. That's it. So now we can play just this card. I was always the kid at the family functions and events, holding the family camera and taking the pictures. And of course, if we go down to the play button at the very bottom, we can play the whole story. People are always asking me how I got started in photography. I was always the kid at the family functions and events, holding the family camera and taking the pictures. Okay. And of course we can stop. Let's go, let's go back and let's add in another card. And that's it. So my story is ready. Now, of course, I can continue building this out, adding more pictures, but you get the general idea. You probably got the general idea four pictures ago. So now let's play it back. Let's see what we have. People are always asking me how I got started in photography. I was always the kid at the family functions and events, holding the family camera and taking the pictures. My first real camera that I bought with my own money was the Olympus E20N. It was a DSLR, but it had a fixed lens. In other words, imagine your DSLR with only one lens, the one that's on it. And it was a five megapixel camera, which was plenty at the time, and still is for most people today. When I decided that it was time to have a camera- Okay, camera I'm gonna stop it here, because I think you get the idea. Let's go ahead and grab music, because it's using the happy leapfrog music that um, is the default, but you can of course grab other soundtracks. Uh, there are lots of soundtracks here for you to play with. So for example, uh, you can test them out. 
And you gotta pick, you gotta imagine this as background music behind your voice as you're talking. Now you can also choose songs from your iPad. Of course, if you've got something in iTunes that's perfect, you can use that. And I encourage you, if you're gonna use copyrighted music, get permission or have the rights to use it. All the other uh, music here, you have the rights to use it that are built into the app. So this is all royalty free music we're giving you to play with. All right, we'll use that as a music. And just a quick test. People are always Sounds good to me. All right, so last but not least, you're done. You're ready to share your project. So we have a couple ways to do that. In the upper right hand corner is the standard share sheet. We'll bring that up. And from here, you can share it a variety of different ways. You can choose what's gonna be your cover photo. You can edit the end credits. It's always gonna put the credit in by default, uh, giving credit to the music that you picked. And uh, you know the fact that this was, um, well, the music that you picked. And of course we can add our own credits if we want. And I don't want, so I'm done. And we can share this on Facebook. We can share it directly on Twitter. We can share it via email. Now, if you share it in one of those ways, it will upload it to Creative Cloud and create a link so that you know, you're not emailing out of, uh, the full movie or you're not sharing the full movie. What's new in this version is you have a pop-up now This defaults to copy link. And what that will do is copy the same link that it's using to share in those other services. And the other choice is that you have the ability to now save it as a movie directly onto your camera roll. So that way you can do whatever you want to do with it. You can open it in another video editing app. You can share it on YouTube. You can put it anywhere else you're putting videos today. So if you don't want to use Adobe's hosting to host your video, you want to control the video completely, share it to the camera roll, and then do whatever you want to do with it after that. So with that, we're going to go ahead and let this one finish. Uh, it's, ex it's rendering it out and uploading it. Or actually, we could just cancel it because what I want to do is show you that pop up, save the camera roll. So now we'll just let that render out to the camera roll. And once it's done rendering, we'll be able to do whatever we want, share it however we want to share it or play it back or put it in another app, whatever you want to do. Now, uh, that's it for this episode. What I'm going to do now, since I promised to show you the other video, I'll let that video play. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. People always ask, how did I get started in technology? As a kid, I was fascinated by science fiction, Star Trek, and anything that had computers in it. Since we didn't have computers in school, I would spend my time after school hanging out at the local radio shack playing with the brand new TRS-80. After graduating from high school, and spending a year in college, I realized it wasn't for me, and so therefore I went to the military. After coming back from the military, I decided it was time to take my computer passion and turn it into a business. So I started my own desktop publishing business uh, in downtown Detroit, and of course I worked from home. Then I discovered that I had a knack for teaching people design products and teaching them how to use the tools that would help them create their visions. That eventually led to an interview with Adobe and becoming one of their market specialists back in the day, showing customers how they could take advantage of Adobe's creative tools. Now I have the pleasure of being Adobe's worldwide design evangelist and photography evangelist, showing people Adobe's creative solutions around the world. Since photography is my passion, I like to get out and shoot the beauty that surrounds us as much as I possibly can.